Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to talk about the nuclear strong force in a little bit more detail. So, jumping ahead, we did mention before that the nuclear strong force is responsible for keeping the quarks together that build the neutrons and the protons and all the other hadrons. Now, we haven't had a, an overview yet of all those various particles. We'll, we will soon in the next several videos. But what we want to do first is take a look at the four, the four forces of nature in a little bit more detail. So, again, three quarks make up a proton or three quarks make up a neutron. Now, there's a different combination of the quarks to make the various nuclear particles such as neutrons and protons. And what we discovered was the nuclear strong force is responsible for keeping the quarks together. Now, a very interesting note on that, and we'll talk about a little bit more detail later, is that the mass of individual quarks is much, much smaller than the total mass of the three quarks together forming a proton or neutron. If you were able to separate the quarks from one another in a separate manner, and we haven't been able to do that, we have not yet been able to detect quarks by themselves, we may never be able to, and we'll get into that later on, but if you could take the mass of the individual quarks, they're far smaller than the totality of the three together working, interacting with the nuclear strong force. So there's some relationship between how the strong force interacts with the quarks to give a particle like a neutron and a proton mass. Of course, there's other interactions with the boson effect and we'll, uh, the Higgs boson effect, and we'll talk about that later. But what you have to realize is that there's a strange interaction between energy created by the what we call the energy state of the forces keeping those quarks together and the mass of these particles. What's also believed is that the primary function of the strong force is to keep the quarks together to form hadrons and the form there's particles that have three quarks and there's particles that have two quarks and we'll get into that detail later as well. But it's a strong force that keeps those quarks together and the fact that nucleons such as protons and neutrons are attracted to one another by, by the effect of the strong force is that there's a residual effect between a spillover of that force that goes beyond the boundary of the proton-neutron that causes the protons and neutrons to be attracted to each other. So protons are attracted to protons and protons are attracted to neutrons by this residual effect of the nuclear strong force keeping the quarks together. So that's why the, pro the nuclear strong force doesn't care if the particles are charged positive or negative or if the particles are not charged at all, the nuclear strong force is simply there keeping the nucleons together, forming the nuclei of an atom. And so you can see that since the primary function is there to keep the quarks together, the amount of force keeping the nucleons together is far less than the force keeping the quarks together but still it's sufficient to overcome the repulsive forces of the, of the nucleons if they're both positively charged. And that is because the strength of nuclear force, strong force is so much larger than the strength of the electromagnetic force that even the spillover force between the nucleons is sufficient to keep the nuclei, nuclei together. Except for the very big ones, the ones that have uh, dozens if not hundreds of nucleons, like for the very heavy atoms, those nuclei, they have so much repulsive force built up between them, uh, within them, I should say, because of all these protons that are in that, those large nuclei, that the nuclear strong force can barely keep them together. And if the nucleus gets too big for the very heavy particles, the ones that are no longer on a periodic table, the repulsive force are just too great for the nuclear strong force to keep the nucleus together. And those nuclei tend to be radioactive, as we call them. They tend to split apart into smaller, smaller nuclei. Another interesting way to look at it is to go back to the equation e equals mc squared is to realize that how the quarks are bound together causes these nucleons to be in a certain energy state. And if you then take two nucleons together, so for example a proton and a proton or a neutron and a neutron or a proton and a neutron, doesn't matter, if you bring them together, they then end up being in a lower energy state. And that lower energy state means that they give up a certain amount of mass. And the amount of mass that they give up is proportional to the difference in the energy state by being, in, by being attracted to each other by the nuclear strong force. So when they come together, they go into a, to a different energy state, a lowered energy state, and release that additional mass. So what's interesting is that if you, let's say you have two neutrons, and you, you measure the mass of a neutron by itself, 
and then you bring them together, or if you take a neutron or proton, you measure the mass separately, and then you bring them together, together they, they weigh less or they have a smaller mass than when you were to measure them individually, and that's because by bringing them together to the nuclear strong force, they lower the energy state, and low energy state means you release some mass, and they then end up having less mass. Very ingenious structure, and we'll learn more about that later in some other videos as well. But at least now you have an idea of what the nuclear strong is there for. Therefore, it's, it's used to keep quarks together, and the overspill, like the residual effect of this nuclear strong force, allows the nucleons of the nucleus of an atom to stay together as well. And without that, there would be no universe, there would be no nuclei, there would be no quarks held together. So it's because of that nuclear strong force that matter can exist the way it does. And we'll learn all about that in the future videos.